Church. Um, today we have some songs and then some puppets, so that's exciting. Puppets, I love puppets. We've got two different puppets, which is pretty cool. Can, can you guys actually do puppets? Hello. It's pretty tricky. You can do the dog thing. Actually, no, I can't anymore. I've given up two fingers now. I can't do just one. <laughs> it's great that everyone's um, popped in to watch Kids Church. Don't forget we have Zoom meetings. So if you, have, if, if you haven't joined a Zoom meeting yet, make sure you find out when yours is and come and see us. We would love to see your faces. That is so true. We've had a bit of fun on Zoom this morning, as you can see. We, we were told to wear a hat, but uh, myself and Chase down there, we had to just keep one-upping each other and try and find something else to put on. It was a lot of fun. But Kids Church is on um, YouTube every Sunday, but this is also Kids Church. This is where we get to come together on Zoom. So we would love to see you. First, we're going to have a quick visit from puppet number one. Uh, I think you'll, you'll love seeing them. And then we'll get up and do some dancing. So make sure you do your throat exercises. Actually, let's do some exercises together. Everybody shake your hands. Warm up those voices. Do re mi fa so. No, I can't sing. All right, <laughs> let's get to kids' church. We'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Bye. That's fun. Okay, Amy couldn't make it to do this little video today, but I have found um, someone else to come and answer some questions. Um, here's Nudge's cousin, Norm. Come on, Norm, don't be shy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hi, Norm. How are you? Good. Good. I'm itchy. You're itchy. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've got so much hair all over your body. I'd be itchy if I was covered in hair like that too, Norm. No, I was wondering, would you be able to answer a couple of questions? We're yeah. talking about um, what we've been doing during the, the lockdown. I have 30 minutes on the clock. 30 minutes. Well, we probably don't have 30 minutes to talk on the video because that's just too okay, long. Okay, I'll change that to an hour then. <laughs> I'll change my schedule. Just wait, please. <laughs> All right, while we wait for Norm to update his schedule. Oh, he's back. Um, so... We've been talking about how, like, there's lots of frustrating things that have been happening during COVID. Can I get cookies? Maybe after, if you're really good. Yep. But we've also been doing lots of good things while we've been at home. And um, so we're going to try and think of some specific things, good things, that you've done while you've been during lockdown. So first question, Norm, is what's something new that you've learned or that you've done? Something new during the lockdown. Something new. Something you haven't done before. I now I have learned how to turn off phones. You learned how to turn off phones. <laughs> yes, you do this. <laughs> you got to swipe them. Yeah. Swipe. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Good. You're getting a little bit more technology savvy. Well done, Norm. Um, what's something that you've learned about yourself during the COVID lockdown? That I learned about myself. That. It's okay to be different because some people are not that hairy, some people are hairy, some people are yellow and hairy. You're very yellow and hairy, but you know, it's, it's a lovely hair. Don't touch me. Okay. Right. Sorry. Maybe come up a little bit, Norm. We can't quite see you. There we go. That's better. Now we can see you. So you've learned that everyone's different, but that's okay to be different. Yep. That's a pretty important thing. Wow. You've had lots of time to reflect and think during mm -hmm. this lockdown. Um, and lastly, Norm, what's something that God has taught you during the COVID lockdown? That it isn't China that caused the corona. It's just the circle of life. Oh, okay. You don't think that we should blame any one country? It's just all part of some big plan. Maybe Circle. Circle. Yes. Could that be maybe God's big plan? Yes. Yeah. God's big circle. God's big circle. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's pretty deep, Nudge. Goodness me. Like I, this deep? Not Nudge. Oh, I called you Nudge. You look so much like your cousin Nudge. Um, but no, you're Norm, aren't you? Sorry, Norm. Mm -hmm. um, well, thank you for coming in at short notice when because I, I couldn't get on to Amy. She was busy today. We hope you've all enjoyed Norm yeah, sharing, 
so fluffy. <laughs> you like my, I haven't got as much hair as you do, Norm. Do you use deodorant? Deodorant, not on my hair, I don't. I use conditioner. I use deodorant right here, there, <laughs> here, there. Nothing behind my <laughs> Hang on, back. Hang on, let me smell you then, Norm. Hang on. Oh, lovely. You smell beautiful. Thank okay. You. So, Norm, say goodbye to all our friends at church. Bye. <laughs> Bye, friends. The B I B L E. 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 Yes, that's a book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God. The B I B L E. The B. Perfect.
church, it's Evelyn here and I've brought with me a friend today. This is Violet. Would you like to say hi? Hi church. <laughs> Thank you Violet. <laughs> What's up? What's wrong? You mean my mask? Yeah. Um, this is a protective mask, Violet. Haven't you seen one of these before? No. Um, well, a lot of people have been wearing these masks uh, to work or when they're going out shopping. Um, where else are they having to wear them? Even just walking. Um, have you not seen one of these before? No? Well, maybe some of our children at home have seen their mums or dads or their brothers or sisters wearing these. These masks are to protect us from viruses and most specifically, they are to protect us from the COVID-19 virus. Oh yeah, I've heard about COVID-19. It's not good. No, it's not good, Violet, you're right. And I've been praying all the time to God. I've been praying for the COVID virus to go away. Well, that's a really good prayer, Violet. And I know that there's lots of people probably praying that too. But, but, I'm sad, Evelyn. Are you? Yeah. I'm sad because God doesn't seem to answer my prayer for COVID to go away. Well, yes, it would seem that way, I agree. Um, it's a bit hard to understand. Yes, so let me think. Um, I know. Um, for example, Violet, do you have a favourite treat? Oh, what sort of treat? Oh, like, like um, something that you enjoy eating, like a lolly or biscuits. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I, I, I like ice cream. You like ice cream, do you? Yeah, ice cream's pretty yummy, isn't it? Um, I wonder what everyone at home likes as their favourite treat. Maybe it's chocolate. How about on the count of three, you all call out what's your favourite treat that you like. Are you ready? Yep. One, two, three. Chocolate! <laughs> chocolate. I thought you said you liked ice cream. Yeah, chocolate ice cream. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, now, where were we, Violet? Um, you were saying why sometimes God doesn't answer our prayers. Oh, that's right. Yes. So... Violet, when you would like to have some chocolate ice cream, your favourite treat, and you ask for some, does the person you ask always say yes? Um, actually, no. No, quite often they say no, Violet, no ice cream. Yep, that's correct. And, and like my girls too, quite often ask me for their favourite thing. They quite like ice cream as well. And... Um, I know they would love me to say yes all of the time. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty nice, wouldn't it? So sometimes I do say yes, and sometimes I say no. And then even other times I say maybe later. Yeah, that sounds familiar. <laughs> because I know that what's best for my girls and I'm looking after them, just like your parents at home know what's best for you and want to do what's right for you and look after you. That means sometimes even when you don't quite understand and you can't see it, your parents will make choices for you to protect you and to help you. Ah, oh, and that's the same as how it is with God when we pray. Sometimes we might ask him for something and he says yes and answers our prayer. Yeah, I like it when he answers my prayers. Um, but other times he maybe says no. And then there are times when he says, not right now. And God wants what's best for his children, Violet, just like I want what's best for my girls. Um, and do you know who God's children are? Um, oh, oh, yes. Yes, let me think, let me think. Um, everyone. That's right, we are all God's children. You at home, you're God's children, you're God's child. I'm God's child. So just like when you ask your parents, sometimes when we ask God, it may not be what's best for us, what we want. And he might have to say no. 
right now, as you've already said, Violet, one of the biggest prayers that people are asking is for God to take away COVID-19. Yeah, but it might seem that God's not answering that prayer yet. And we don't really know why he sometimes says yes and why sometimes he says no. And you know what? That might make you a little bit sad or angry. Yeah, makes me sad. Yeah, I'm sure it does. That's okay. We're allowed to be sad or angry, but we must also know that God is always looking out for us. Yep. Yeah? And he's always doing what's best for us. We don't know what the big picture is. We don't know what his big plan is, but we can be sure that he is still at work. Yep, so in all these frustrating things that are happening at the moment, like having to stay at home, what else? No school, well, no school. Actually, some people were on holidays now, so that's really nice to be on holidays, but no school up until holidays. What else? Um, oh, not being able to be together in church. Yeah, I miss church. Yeah, so do I. Um, in amongst all these frustrating things, there's actually a lot of great things that we get to do as well. Really? Yeah, have a think about it. So, oh, what for example? <gasps> gardening. I'm getting lots of gardening done at the moment. Yeah, I like gardening. I know you do, yes. Um, people are learning some new skills, like making bread, cooking, yeah. Um, maybe playing musical instruments. Um, so maybe, Maybe rather than thinking about the frustrating things that are happening at the moment, if we all sit around this afternoon with our families, we could talk about some of the good things that we've been doing lately. Yeah, yeah, I like that idea. Maybe you could write them down, keep a list. And then if you're feeling a bit sad or frustrated, you could have a look at that list and remind yourself of the things that have been good. And then we could thank God for those things. And pray to him and give thanks to him for some of the good things that are happening at the moment as well. Yeah, 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 that's a great idea. Yep, thank you. Okay, so just remember, children at home, even if God says no, that's maybe because what we want may not be what we need. Okay, and I hope that makes a bit more sense now. Yeah, yeah, it does. Thanks. All right. Thank you for having me today, Church. And me. And you too, Violet. Thank you. So maybe Violet and I will join you another time. Uh, in the meantime, for those of you that are on school holidays now, have a great time. And um, yeah, we'll be starting up with more Kids Church videos after the school holidays. Yep. Would you like to wave goodbye, Violet? Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye, Church.